With each octagon appearance, Hamzat Chimaev further reaffirms, only the sky's the limit for him. He fights his heart out in two weight classes. Knocks guys out on any notice. And consistently turns it up on the mic. After a one-year hiatus, Hamzat is about to return, and a win would put him on the verge of a title shot. Let's recall the MMA journey of the Chechen beast, who takes no prisoners, both on the feet. Look at me, I'm about to be rich. And on the ground. Shemaev was born in Chechnya in 1994 and was involved in sports from childhood. As the story goes, he fell down the stairs at the age of two, something he's reminded of by the scar on his upper lip, the broken nose, and the deviated septum. Living across the street from a wrestling gym, Chimaya first stepped onto the mat as a one-year-old baby and started actively training by the age of five. The future Boars, which means Wolf, went on to secure the Juvenile Division Bronze at the Russian Championship. Having built a solid foundation in freestyle wrestling, at 19, Hamzat moved to Sweden to live with relatives and found a job at a factory. He became a multiple-time Swedish wrestling champion, effortlessly mopping the floor with the opposition. In the meantime, Chimaev moonlighted as a bouncer, honing both his fighting and verbal skills. One day, Hamzat witnessed Conor McGregor's triumph over Jose Aldo. Once he found out about McGregor's earnings, Boers realized it was time to change his occupation. I was feeling if at that time just meet him as outside, I can broke him, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If he makes that money, why not me? 23-year-old Shemaev promptly relocated to Stockholm and began training alongside Alexander Gustafsson and other UFC veterans at the All-Stars Gym. <laughs> A lion's roar marked Hamzat's first amateur bout in the fall of 2017. <laughs> He quickly took the opponent down. The victim would manage to escape, but Shemaev inevitably grounded him again. Early into the second stretch, Boers delivered a clubbing right. Locked up a Dars choke. Forced the tap. Competing under his mother's last name, Gedi Khanov, Hamzat had two more non paid performances, winning both inside the distance. In his May 2018 pro debut, however, he was announced the way we're all used to. A Norwegian fighter dubbed Ragnarok wasn't expecting to face the Chechen Kratos. dropping him with a picture-perfect jab. Boers ruthlessly mauled the Northman on the mat for two rounds. The patient referee stopped the torture seminar eight minutes in. Three months later, another middleweight from Norway got in the way. Hamzat immediately put him down then mixed sub-attempts with ground and pound. At some point, Boers applied the Dagestani handcuffs. He dragged his opponent's arm behind his back and unleashed a barrage of strikes from the top. At the five-minute mark, Hamzat's mouth guard fell out. While holding the foe in place with one hand, he adjusted it nonchalantly and sunk in the choke. In just two professional outings, the Chechen prodigy proved himself as a guaranteed ticket seller and was signed by the Middle Eastern promotion Brave Combat Federation. 
In November 2018, Shemaev locked horns with an unbeaten finisher named Marko Kisic. The Austrian welterweight, a grappler by trade, was sent down to the deck right away. Marko stood back up, but not for long. Kisic wasn't giving up yet, though. That's why Boris floored him twice more. Oh! Continuing the onslaught, Hamzat secured top position and got the hammers going. Ow! Oh, big hammer fist! That's it! That's it! That's it! It's all over! The Hungry Wolf made his introduction to Brave by plastering Kisic across the canvas with a series of knockdowns and a vicious final sequence. A month later, Chimaev delivered again, saving a main event on short notice. The 8-3 middleweight Sidney Wheeler surprised him early. Oh. Nevertheless, he soon found himself on the mat. Under a hail of punches, Wheeler was quick to surrender. Those are huge strikes! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Hamzat ate a right hand like a piece of candy, then secured a successful throw and disposed of the rival in just 35 seconds. In April of 2019, Shemaev faced the undefeated Ikram Aliskirov with a record of 8-0. The Combat Sambo world champion was dangerous wherever the fight went. And especially in the stand-up. Waiting for that. There it is. That oh, huge overwrite. Ballet of violence. <laughs> the violent dance began from the opening seconds. Nice counter right hand boy. And Hamzat's jab worked wonders again. Oh, he dropped him! Boris dropped him and dives! Yet, even after a knockdown, Abdul Manap Nurmagomedov's student wouldn't let himself be taken down. Following a short exchange, Shemaev stepped back, traded some kicks, and hit a home run. The cannon jab staggered Ikram temporarily. Boris changed the line of attack and placed a sharp uppercut, instantly disconnecting Aliskirov from the power grid. In October, Chimaev clashed with Mzwandile Longwa. The South African prospect had gained notoriety with a knockout of the year contender 11 months prior. Still, he was in over his head against the Chechen wrestling dynamo. Didn't see when you have the two guys of this caliber. Big takedown, but in the second round, Hamzat picked him up and demonstrated the native tradition of bride kidnapping right in the cage. In the horizontal plane, Longwa got trapped in a Darce choke, Shemaev's signature hold. Oh, he's out! Oh, he's out! He is out! Boers easily dispatched a formidable opponent and was eagerly waiting for an imminent title shot. Only the raging pandemic managed to keep him beltless. <laughs> While on the sidelines, Hamzat received an opportunity to shine in front of Dana White. In the summer of 2020, he was released from Brave to take a short notice bout on Fight Island. Shemaev's middleweight adversary, John Phillips, had finished all 22 of his victories, including 20 knockouts. Oh, cracks him. Who goes oh. A striker through and through, he was helpless against Hamzat's overwhelming grappling. Oh, that shot. Look at that, though. A beautiful After taking Phillips down and dragging him into his corner, Hamzat spent a round mincing him up, instructed by the coaches. He generates. John struggled to stand up when the bell rang. The wolf smelled blood. He was smiling. He didn't look like he was tired at all. And began the second stretch with a takedown. Is that yeah, I'm delirious. Snuck his arm through for a darce and forced the foe to count sheep. That's the top. The top. Wow. Comes on Shimaya by submission, and he stays undefeated. Making Phillips look like a wrestling dummy and claiming his seventh consecutive stoppage win, Shemaev discussed his next fight directly with Dana White. Hamzad Shemaev.
Well, he, look gone. at this. He's talking to Dana White. He came, he came in 6 and 0. To, to Alex, go fight also. So, I, uh. I'm waiting here. So, if you have fight, give me fight. Guy, I'm gonna smash him. The UFC president was so impressed that he granted Hamzat's wish in a record breaking 10 days. Boers successfully made 170 pounds and opened the main card against Reese McKee. The doomed Irishman went on a date with the canvas from the gate. We see Hamza fully pick him up and slam him, but keeping his promise to seal the deal even faster than before, Shemaev turned on the ground and pound shredder as usual. Aranches Emmett, CB Dolloway Murta Zaleev, which is a fight we oh, big hammer right here with some. The whole victory march took just over three minutes. It's another win for Hamzat Chimaev. He is a wrecking ball. Wow. McKee didn't land a single punch throughout the contest. In his two UFC showings, Boers delivered a total of 192 strikes, absorbed one, and earned $150,000. He's taking no punches. With such performances, Hamzat made more headlines than some champions. Skeptics heavily criticized his quality of opposition, while Chimaev obtained a visa and traveled to the U.S. for his third straight bout in 66 days. The middleweight Gerald Merchart had nearly six times as many fights on his resume. Perfectly content keeping on his feet as he lands one in the stomach! And was a legit black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. The battle-tested American promised to expose the Chechen prodigy's true level, and he succeeded. Boers shattered Mershart's hopes with a nasty right hand. The clock stopped at 17 seconds of doom. Oh, Unfortunately, his encounter with the future champion, Leon Edwards, became another casualty of the pandemic. On March 1, 2021, after a long illness, Hamzat announced his retirement. But in October, he had come to his senses and stormed back into the octagon. Li Jingliang from China was ranked 11th at 170 pounds and was always happy to throw down. There's no shame in losing the Lee promised an all-out war in the lead-up, and Boers was forced to tame the unruly patient. Following a small talk with the higher-ups, Chimaev proceeded to start the treatment. Jing Liang took several shots, gave up his back, and was sent into airless space. By choking out his rival in less than four minutes, Hamzat jumped up to number 10 in the rankings and addressed the public's entertainment needs in an interview. Everybody, I come here for everybody. I'm the champ, I'm the king. Ah! Our traffic on Hamzat was off the roof and, you know, 10 times more than, than anybody else. During the break between fights, Boers had a wrestling super match with Jack Hermanson. The seventh ranked UFC middleweight held his own defensively. Comes out with a takeover, Jack spins out. Good defense by Manson, but... Meanwhile, the offense was all Chemaev. Oh! The friendly competition with the neighbor from Norway ended in a victory, and Hamzat was ready to hit the big stage. In April of 2022, he faced Gilbert Burns, who had a record of 20 and 4. Ranked second at welterweight, Durinho knew how to shut your lights out. And had given Kamaru Usman fits. Usman, but I think technically. Shemaev and Burns crossed paths before the bout. Scary, scary boy, you know. I feel he's in there. I said to him yesterday, show his power. He couldn't show that. He said, I'll show you last Saturday, and he turned around, you know. Boers should have taken the Brazilian underdog's word seriously. Gilbert managed to keep it standing in the early going. 1854. Gilbert stops the takedown so far. And endured the opponent's offerings. He then started pouring it on in open space. Good 
get his rhythm. Yes. Could have just caught him in the left. Durinho even managed to knock Hamzat off balance. Under 90 oh. seconds to go around. Oh. Mixing up his attack, Boers dropped the foe with a southpaw jab. Oh! oh. Straight right hand drops Burns! And charged in for the finish. Oh, but his attempt to work the crowd 30 seconds left in round one. led to some blowback later. Good job from Burns. Caught him in the middle of the kick. We're getting to round two! If the first round was a suspenseful drama, the second turned into a genuine thriller. The screaming fans could barely take a breather between exchanges. Yeah. Gilbert. And now right. But Gilbert looks like he's oh. settled in his dance. Yeah, because it's a power shot. Oh. Oh. Burns rang Hamzat's bell halfway through. Shemaev retaliated with a 1-2. Oh, no, he's got to save something. Oh, he just got stung himself a 1-2. And a right hand. Right now. Oh, oh my God. Oh, that hurt him. Gilbert smiled and continued walking on the edge. Beautiful right hook. He's got to watch that right away hand. from punches, too. Look. The highlight was a salvo in the closing moments. In the round for Shemaev. Hamzat absorbed a haymaker. Oh, he went down afterwards. Let's see it again. Oh my goodness. I mean, that is it. Luckily, the contest went on, and the athletes even had a brief altercation. Oh, what's this? In the third frame, Boris got his piston of a jab going. Seconds. Life, and he's proven it. With Gilbert. A heavy follow up right found its home. And it's consequential. Gilbert spent too much gas and stalled against the fence temporarily. Knee from Chimaev. Chimaev tried to gain an advantage. Oh, still clubbing with that right hand, boy. You gotta watch out when you're swinging like. But the Brazilian would bite back. Oh my goodness! The Warriors traded dynamite late. Oh, Hamza tagged him. Ruling fight, man. Oh, oh big right hand by Burns. Oh, track from Burns. Oh. Three in a row now. Chimaev says. Still, the ending was controlled by Hamza. Rejecting their self-preservation instinct, the fighters battled head-to-head -head for all three rounds. The exhilarating showdown unanimously went to Chimaev, marking his first decision in 11 victories and catapulting him to the number three spot in the welterweight rankings. Now I'm bloody. I'm tired. I feel a little pain. I love this. Next, Hamzat hit the jackpot in the form of Nate Diaz. It was Stockton Legend's last contractual outing, and he was brought in as a lamb to the slaughter to raise Borz's stock. UFC wants to I kill that guy, you know, like how to do it. As fate would have it, during UFC 279 Fight Week in September, Chimaev had to stop cutting weight on doctor's orders and exceeded the welterweight limit by seven and a half pounds. As a result, the bout was scratched. 178 and a half, the official weight for Hamzat Shimaev. The man to save the day was Kevin Holland. Him and Hamzat didn't exactly see eye to eye. These two were going at it prior to the press conferences. Say something now, bitch. During his four years in the promotion, Trailblazer accumulated a crazy record of 16 total matches. Oh, very very happy. Happy. That hurt him bad. That is indeed yeah. very Proving himself to be a threat on the ground. He's got it locked in. Tap, tap. Kevin Holland double scream. <laughs> oh! 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 Moreover, when he entered point blank range on the feet, there was no coming back. Good counter by Holland. Oh! Yeah, the way he punches. Oh! Holland's only weakness was his takedown defense, and in their 180 pound catchweight collision, Shemaev didn't hold back. Kevin tried to say, Joke's on you, I'm into that stuff. But after another scramble, it's loud in here. An incredible pace oh. that Shemaev has started this fight out with. He's trying to be very early. Kevin tasted the canvas again. A lot of wrestling. Tremendous amount of and met a dead end. As long as he can get his hips up. 
Oh, Kevin's going to line up on top. No, he rolls him up with his right hand. With the snap. That's it. He got it. Putting a wrestling clinic on his enemy and strangling him with a Darce choke in half a round, Boars gladly embraced the bad guy persona. I'm here with the winner, Hamza Chumaya. Hey, so what now? Say something! So what now? I fuck you all, you boys! This is JJ, motherfucker! However, he dropped the aggro gimmick outside the cage. It's the same shit, price the life, you know. <laughs> happen everything you're going up you're going down and maybe I die tomorrow who knows you know can happen everything I just going forward and take it Shemaev wrestles like a demon takes heads off with one punch and dukes it out like the pride legends of the past going out there with overwhelming aggression he constantly earns post-fight bonuses and aims to capture the belts in several weight classes what other mountains will be left to climb for the chechen mauling machine 100 reason to remember the name If you enjoyed the video, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and vote for sport. I'm Hamza Chimayo. Let's smash them all.